How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. As you guys have seen from that beginning intro, today we've got an amazing abandoned mansion to explore. But before that, I need to explain a little bit about what happened before we even got to this site. Uh, basically, I was meeting up with Dave from Abandoned World Explorer, the very first time you guys have seen him on this channel and he was late. <laughs> uh, so I basically went to meet up with him in South Hall and we had a few sites planned and uh, those sites didn't materialize, so we ended up going to this mansion instead. But before we even got to that mansion, we did manage to gain one other site, and it was a site that you guys have seen before, Dead Dave Warehouse. And if you guys haven't seen that video, honestly, go check it out. It is my favorite explore ever. Uh, so please go and check it out. I'll link it down below. It's an amazing site. So we got into the Dead Dave Warehouse, and uh, it still didn't quite go according to plan. This is what happened. Take a look. Dave. Dave. People, people shouting. People shouting. Oh, you alright? Just uh, looking around, just taking some pictures and stuff. Like yeah, that. basically, yeah. Oh, okay. We're both YouTube experts. Yeah. Oh, okay. What, what channel? Uh, Taze Robux and Abandoned World Explorer. If, if we can just grab a couple of details off you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah. So that's what happened. Uh, I do want to apologize first of all for the audio. I know it's terrible, but there was nothing I could do. I don't know what happened. The gimbal was basically playing up. Um, when I got outside with the police, I tried turning it off and he wouldn't turn off. He just kept spinning and spinning. So I assume it was something with a motor that was like causing issues where it was right next to the GoPro. It was like, like vibrating or something. I don't know what was up with it. It seems fine now and it was working perfectly fine beforehand. So I don't know. It was raining that day. So maybe it got slightly wet and was having a few issues. I do want to say a quick thank you to the police because they were amazing. They handled that so well. I know sometimes when you're running with police, they can get a little bit irate, which is understandable because they don't know what they're coming into. But as soon as this guy saw that we had cameras on us, he put his taser away and actually subscribed to both of our channels after we'd done all the details and stuff. Uh, even after that, we actually ended up speaking to some of the locals and they were the ones who called the police in the first place because they have a lot of traffic going to this place and they were fed up with it, which is again, totally understandable. But after having a chat with them, I think they kind of understood where we were coming from and we understood a bit more about where they're coming from. And it was quite nice. We, it was very amicable at the end. But anyway, onto the video. Um, we are about to explore an abandoned mansion, which was owned by none other than Brian Forbes, the famous director, and Annette Newman, his wife, who is an actress. So I'm gonna stop waffling so you guys can actually see this explore. But first of all, here's the history. So this mansion has an amazing history. It was last owned by none other than Brian Forbes, a hugely famous film director who passed away in 2013, and his wife Nanette Newman who was equally well known as an actress and author. Brian, who was born in 1926, directed such films as Whistle Down the Wind and The L-Shaped Room. His wife acted in many of his films, such as The Stepford Wives, but she also starred alongside Roger Moore in the hit 60s show The Saint. Throughout both their careers, Brian and Annette also wrote books, which is something that will become apparent as we explore this absolutely gorgeous £3 million abandoned mansion. Guys, first things first, take a look at this staircase. Absolutely incredible. Like, I'm not a huge fan of heights, as you guys know, but I can appreciate a nice spiral staircase, and I've never seen one as nice as this. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I know sometimes I'm like, it's all about the stuff in places, like the belongings that are left behind, but actually sometimes, sometimes it's the complete opposite. Sometimes it's about this, the grandeur. So right now we're on the first floor. Yeah, it's so the ground floor, first floor. Yeah, first floor. Unless you're in America, we're on the second floor. <laughs> but this place is huge, it has power left on. When we look at this room I'm in right now, I'm assuming this would have been some kind of 
a lounge. It's got like a VCR player over there. You've got like a sofa and things. But it's huge. This entire room is honestly bigger than my flat. And then you've got bathrooms like this. And you've got a bidet. Oh, watch the floor. There's a bidet, which is basically, you think that squirts your bum. Stay of toilet paper. Look at the gold as well, the gold everywhere. Oh, this is so cool. So one thing we've actually got to try and look for when we're here as well, because when Warren was here, he crashed his drone. So he's asked us if we could take a look in the grounds when we go outside and see if he's fallen down at any point, because uh, obviously he'd like that back. But I've got a feeling it has landed and someone else might have been here and taken it, or it may still be stuck up a tree, but we'll find out. Guys, look at this. Every room you come to is so beautiful. I mean, look at the detail in this. It's like a four poster bed or something. That makes fart noises. Oh, what? Oh my God. It's even got Homie J. Duggan written inside from 1935. What the hell? That's crazy. That out there is actually the uh, spiral staircase you can see from the outside. Look how impressive that is. Right guys, so we're gonna swap. Uh, Dave's just done downstairs, I'm gonna go downstairs. But what he did mention is he just saw three people outside, three like young people, definitely not security, but. So we could potentially run to some other people here, which I'm not really a fan of. I like to like know who I'm going with, etc. Especially when you've got like people coming here and doing this kind of stuff as well. Don't think that's really appropriate. Right, so I'm gonna pick my bag up, left it downstairs, assuming it will be perfectly fine, but obviously there's people roaming around the area. You might find that they might come in and take something, so I'm not leaving my bag. Especially when it's got a lot of equipment in it. But this is the bottom of the stairwell, and look at this floor. I don't think it's real marble, but well, it might be, I don't know. But it certainly looks gorgeous, and this door. Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So guys, this is, again, like upstairs, another lounge or front room, whatever you want to call it. But look at that fireplace. And then we get to the ominous dark room. My God, look at the, oh, I'm gonna turn the light right up for this because this looks really creepy. What's in here? What? It's like a workshop. No, it's a photograph studio. Yeah, this has got to be a photo. Yeah, because this is this would have been a projector, and you would have a um, projector sit here, shine out. Yeah, because you've got a screen like this was a cinema. This was like a cinema. That's so cool. So this is like uh, would have been held to slides or something. So there's probably been no slides or a way to show off photography and things. I do love the fact that there's a there's a thing right here that says Edinburgh Rock. Edinburgh Rock to me is like um, almost like rock you get from the seaside, but it's like a chalky type of rock. The fact that there's a whole section for Edinburgh Rock, if that's that's what it means, why? <laughs> why have you got a whole box for sweets? So I was just looking at this a bit more and it's kind of interesting actually to be honest because you've got this like glass panel here which looks like it's got like a pop-out door um, just there. But if you come on the other side, there's like well a vent exactly where that is. So I'm wondering if can you pull that? <gasps> And there we go. Yeah, so you would add the projector through there and it would have shined out this way. The lights are down. I'm trying to figure out where the screen would have been. Because I can't imagine there would have been just the curtains. There would have been a screen or something. The speakers, yeah, this, this definitely would have been a cinema. You've got speakers up in the corner up there, over there. And up top, you've got lights as well. I, I can imagine there would have been like a screen or something right here. And there was indeed something very big here. Can you see the line going across? There's like a line that goes all the way across here. So I reckon, I absolutely reckon this was a cinema. 
That's amazing. No fucking way. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Dave, Dave. The speaker's up in the corner. There's lights at the top. So this, you imagine like when people lived here in the 90s, what kind of films would they have been watching? There's a projector ah, right there. Now I know what this is. And there's a screen right there. No fucking <laughs> That's, that was my exact reaction. <laughs> Shit, we need to turn that off. Can you do that again? Yeah. <laughs> Action. Guys, I don't even need to explain to you what's happening behind me. We are in the cinema room. How did I miss this? Wow. So now the room, the weird room that I said with the X-rays is actually to activate the screen as well. Right guys, so one of the things I didn't notice until I went and got Dave and he told me about it, uh, this is actually an x-ray machine. What? That's crazy. And this x-ray, does it actually say yes? It does say it's actually for Brian Forbes, who used to own this house, I know I can focus on that. There we go, I'll try and zoom in and post. It actually says Brian Forbes. And I think it's like a spine? Must be a spine. So guys, I spent so much time looking at the spiral staircase, the cinema, that I completely forgot to actually film downstairs. Like I haven't done any of this level at all, apart from, you know, the rooms you've seen. But there's a whole section we walked straight through when we first came in that I haven't showed you guys yet, so I'm gonna do that. Plus there's a trapdoor thing, like literally right where I'm stood. Here, there's like a trapdoor thing, which I'm curious to see if it goes to the basement. Who knows? I absolutely love this. Like I've been trying to avoid this room because Again, if security do turn up, we're right in view. But this room is gorgeous. The lighting in here is fantastic. The decor in here is amazing. And I actually love this. Does that mean, is that a TV? What is that? Uh, oh no, it's, that looks like another sort of screen thing. I bet there's like a kitchen or something through there so you could see what's happening in this room. I don't, I don't really get this room. What is this room like? It's not another projector room, is it? Yeah, it could be actually, I just don't get it. Is there a, is there a button that says screen? No, nothing. You have to double check, don't you? <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah, that's got a lot of fungi as well. Is this one of the one of the guys' films? What's that? Oh yeah, here you are. Look. Um, production of Brian Forbes. It's the Raging Moon. The smell down here is absolutely rotten. It's not that bad. I've seen it worse than that. Look at those bottles there, how old are those? I'm literally worried about water and being near Tizer. <laughs> so it's like, a, it's a wine storage area. It's alright, it's not sewage water, you're fine. No. Hey guys, look how old these are. So as you can see guys, the floor is actually flooded, which is why we're not going any further in. Um, but it was definitely worth coming down here just to see them bottles. Definitely. How cool are they? Oh, the smell. I can't let, that smells rotten. <laughs> I'm just filming in case you fall in. Yeah. Can I get 200 quid from you, dear friend? <laughs> <laughs> I can sell that, that sure. Watch your fingers. Right, anyway, back to what I was doing. There's so much of the downstairs I haven't even looked at yet. I mean, this is the kitchen, and look how gorgeous this kitchen is. I know I've got a thing. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh god, there's like chicken things that on the side that have obviously been in the freezer at some point and someone's taken them out. What are they? Maple flavoured twists. Oh, I thought they're not, I thought they were chicken, it's not chicken. I dream of a kitchen like this, because I do like cooking. Shit, what's in the fridge? Nothing. Got a wine rack here as well, so I can imagine this would have been absolutely chocker full of wine at some point. Each one having a bottle inside it. Short tea. <laughs> I'd love one. And we have got some. Uh, oh, jeez. In the country, we call this chocolate milk. <laughs> so you take that to the car, it's fine. That's, that, yeah, that's how we make chocolate if milk. If you in the sip country. it, I'll give you my drone. Fuck that. Right. <laughs> So guys, that is it. That is Brian Forbes' abandoned mansion. What a cool place. 
Honestly, like I know that I rave all the time about how sometimes it's the stuff inside the building that makes the building because it's just incredible to see these like belongings left behind. This is the opposite. This is definitely one where you can say the building itself has so much character and that is what makes the explore. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment down below. Go check out David's channel as well. It will be linked in the description. He does some really good videos, so please go check him out. <laughs> and if I don't fall through the floor, I'll see you next time. Bye. Actually, one last thing before we do go, I did forget uh, we are gonna look at the outbuildings. There's not much, the outbuildings is like a, I think it's an aviary for birds. Uh, but also we need to check out for Warren's drone because he lost it. But one thing before we do that, check out this. Look how gorgeous the side of that building looks. Beautiful building, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so we can find Warren's drone. Where did Warren say he lost it? Well, he said, follow the hose reel, and it's up the trees, but see where I leave. So Warren said that it was in these trees somewhere, but I'm buggered if I can see anything. So the only direction we got was follow the, uh, the hose, which is on the grass here, and it's in these trees. So I'm guessing probably that one. But, oh my God, it's so high, I can't see anything. If it has fallen down, someone's probably taken it. It's like the secret garden, isn't it? It's like the secret garden, yeah. So guys, we've had no luck finding Warren's drone, but we did find some tennis courts. And also, actually, I'll show you these as well. There's a big old pile of books over here, um, done by Nanette Newman, I think it is. Yeah, Nanette Newman. But these are all copies of the same book. Gonna have to look that up. So probably on screen, you guys are seeing information right now, because I'm gonna put the information for this on the screen. But anyway, let's check out these tennis courts. So David's already over here. We've got, I'm guessing some kind of like clubhouse or change rooms or something. Pretty cool old lamp there. But, oh, there's even a deck chair in the tennis courts. Uh, it's just the other side. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Over there, that's the same name that was on those books that are outside. It looks almost like there's like a sauna or something over here. But I reckon a little playhouse. Look at the, the green like chandelier thing. So cool. But anyway, I think that's pretty much the whole place. I know I've said like goodbye about 3,000 times, but I keep finding more. <laughs> but this is it. This is literally it. So goodbye. Bye.